the minute you enter my gallery you'll see this wall that's separating a lot of our storage stuff it's a peel painting you know a large version you just squish paint on one canvas and it comes off on the other it makes a mirror effect it's incredibly useful and dries fast it is really unique and textured anybody can do it takes no talent, you just squish, wiggle and pull apart and it makes those cool designs. On this wall is my giant coral painting. It's my first masterpiece in works. I've been working at it for many years. Just, I keep adding stuff. These pipe corals on the right were my first at taking palette paint and just rolling it up and making this really cool pipe coral that's three-dimensional no paint goes down the drain your paint is wasted not wasted by taking your palette and making something useful out of it I have a twirl technique I use. These are cake decorating tips that I've used. I've got a sea fan package coming, starfish package. And this is a sea anemone. All this is completely made out of paint alone, thick acrylic paint. I really love this palette knife swipe where I just added pearls that's also made of thick paint. This is my gift shop beginnings. My very first little display area that I hope to turn into a big store gallery. These range from $10 to 15 to 25 This is the 3D pipe coral. It's been in uh, several shows. Um, online magazine, it's gotten a lot of attention. And it's extremely dimensional. This is one of the higher quality, classy pieces that I teach in my classes online how to come up with this incredibly uh, sculptural stuff just from rolling your palette paint that's unused and you can make this classy painting. This is my painting wall that's covering most of our storage. Our storage is on rolling racks to make it easy to get to stuff. Like, here's mostly my vitamins. I didn't know where to put and some art stuff. amount of paintings at one time. And I just pull out the rack and I use pizza boxes to store small versus larger paintings. And I have these flaps still attached so in moving you can just close them up and the paintings are protected. And it's, it's like this, but being on a rolling system is just 
incredible. As we go into the kitchen, this is a favorite piece that I love. Buttery sunshine is what I call it. It's made from palette knife paint. Monochromatic, that means one color. Various shades, including gold. Um, it's a very healing color. It healed me, brightens up the spirits. Yeah, no, it's kind of a neat painting for the kitchen. This painting amazingly has done well over the stove. It's a piece of um, tiles, all acrylic paint. Everything is only paint that I do. This is a barnacle type texture. And I have nothing for the space yet. <laughs> I got uh, sunflowers in the works. White pipe corals. With the pearly color. Three dimensional, lots of texture. The bathroom. It has been so exciting to be able to put my paintings up in my own place for display. You can see the dimension. A couple different pipe coral variations. This one I just started with the palette knife to add a neat background and man it sure turned out cool and so I just Stuck some pipe curls in there. This is uh, kind of a more rounded, fatter type of pipe curls. I added the peel texture to it and some paint pieces. Very gritty, bumpy. Now this is my studio. It's also my room, so there's a lot crammed in it. This is a self-portrait of my face. It was a kind of a cool digital image that I added this dimension on dimensional hair to. This is hair extensions that I dipped in paint. And it's covering my face. Weirdest thing I've ever done. <laughs> Um, but it's covering the back side of this rack of all my stuff, which could be uh, kind of nicer than a wall. Um, this painting, these two, are my 3D zebra stripes and 3D leopard. Print. This is probably the most amazing thing I've ever done. These stripes are literally raised off the surface of the painting and wrapped around the edges to show how cool it is being 3D. And this is entirely paint. I had to make my own cake decorating tip, wrap it around the canvas and come up with um, a solution to many challenges that came up. One was how to get rid of air bubbles and that's been like six years trying to figure that out and I've had some success finally. This. It is a poor painting mixed with 3D spots. It's pretty sparkly in the light. Very cool. 
So that should appeal to some animal lovers out there. Now, this rack here is basically something I turned into for my desk. It's got the computer and speaker at the bottom, place to hang my purse and jacket. The computer monitor and keyboard is hiding there in the center and a printer and paintings in the making and um, spray paints and paint skins at the top um, this rolling rack next to it is very hidden but it's got all my canvases on it I've tried to organize it um, by painting surfaces this here is a neat little um, organizer that holds all kinds of fun little things to paint like birdhouses and purses and little dresser gift things frames this is my dream studio light uh, I'll show you in a minute how I try to rotate that this is my painting area and I came up with hanging paints the paint holder is TP roll tubes and I found that that keeps the um, paint very, really accessible you can pull it out and put it in the right spot without other bottles falling on it it was a really good system until I realized I just need room to grow and it's kind of a, a lot to put together it's made of foam board a lot of gluing and uh, took hours so I, I'm gonna try another system and above this is a few racks for drying it's kind of important to be able to have a place to put wet paintings to dry immediately um, it's really important to have a fan a fan in the thick painter's studio this is my paint water saver this mesh nylon mesh keeps paint tubes and bugs um, out and it allows evaporation out and this basically um, it dries I have a video on this on YouTube but it it basically dries all of my paint water so instead of going down the drain I pour it in here and let the water evaporate out and as I have the fan on to dry paintings and stuff this just naturally um, goes down the water level went way down and I scrape it out and use the paint over again in sculptures later this is one way I came up with to save scraps and even paint water from um, my use This paint bucket is of great use. It's my paint scrap junkyard. It started out as a little pile on a pallet and it grew to a big old tray. Now it's in this bucket and there's just all kinds of scraps in here that didn't work out or it's old paint or um, just 
pieces that I want to use to build up or add texture to. Um, I hope to have artists send me their scraps. I have a very large collection of unused dried paint for building very large things on a large scale. This rolling rack here is where it all happens. This is my gel shelf. Everything from crackle paste to thick paint to crystal mortar, glass beads, everything that makes paint go 3D and cool and textured like is here. There's extras I don't know what to do with and some sculpture items. Up top is some projects. Um, instead of laying them out, I keep them in a little container to help organize little parts. This shelf here is really important. It's all of my palettes. And why you need so many? Well, this it's a really kind of amazing medium. Um, over time, you can build up paint and peel it off and make those pipe curls I showed you earlier. Sometimes um, this stuff is so thick that you need one palette knife per color a lot of the times. Um, it helps you get paintings done faster. This is my mold shelf. I'm experimenting with eyeballs right now and I'm finding a lot of success. Kick decorating bags. Cups to hold it in. Um, some clay items. Now these shelves, these lower shelves, are also really important. This is so cool because you can pull the whole shelf out. Oh my god. This also is a huge secret. Clay. That is how I keep all these from falling over and being this horrible disaster. You can also make this a portable version. Um, if you forget how many cake tips you have or what type when you're in the store buying new ones, you can put this in one of those organizers I showed you up here and put clay in the bottom and um, when you're driving, these will not fall over on you. They will be stuck in the clay. The most wonderful invention ever. The rest of these hold brushes that are very easy access. All rounds I have here. Mostly filberts, fans and flats. Definitely need to go through and organize again and make a second row here. This is palette knives. Now the bottom shelf doesn't have a pullout, right? So I made my own. And a poster board. Another piece of poster board glued here to have a pulling grab to it. Ah, what a dream. Pull in, pull out, see what I want. It's just wonderful. Below is file. This is file cabinet. This is electronics and doodads that I get into every now and then. Adapters. Uh, 
This is office stuff. This one helped to grow to, um, I don't know, a hundred of these. These are all paint pieces. Pieces that aren't in a painting yet that I hope to make a neat little invention called Impasto pieces. That's where you just have paint that you um, Press in to a painting Look at that leaves already made I know there's starfish in here somewhere look at that fish Starfish, brittle star, all those you can peel and press. And down lower on this is all the things I need to make my painting. Scissors, tapes, pencils, pens, all that stuff. Tools. So basically, let me set you down here. I work in this giant U-shape um, system that works for me because here I have the computer for reference, easy access. I have this light to shine on me when I do demos and to shine on my work when I do the work. and. Here I have my paints and brushes on the other side next to me. Everything kind of just works here. Let's see if I could show you my light now. This light. Um, I found that it looked like I was crying on camera or my eyes were red and glossy and I didn't know why and it's because the light was so bright it was shining on me and, and making me squint and so this has what you call a diffusing cloth in front of it and that softens light so here I can move it up here to have it shine on my face um, at the right angle or have it down on my work Minus one bulb, it gets this bright. I still have another bulb to put in it, but ah, it's something I've been looking forward to getting for like a long time. <laughs> and how to figure out how to put it here, this huge thing without a big old stand. I don't have room for a stand, right? So my boyfriend came up with the way to help me hang it from this rack and shine down on here and sometimes as an artist you're so what do i do <laughs> and a lot of different times um having a like a handyman or some kind of woodworking builder can help you come up with ways to organize your art that you never thought possible um, so that's my studio kind of in a nutshell this is my idea to make an art exhibit so giant a gallery attached to sell the paintings that people are seeing when they walk through this 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 giant showpiece they can take part of it home with them in a painting. Everything from a large budget down to small gift shop items. And this is what I'm working towards. So anybody who buys my paintings, all the proceeds will go towards this project. And I want to make gardens around it. And be a, just a really great tourist attraction. So people can come from all over and enjoy peaceful gardens, get away from the noise, and be inspired by what um, thick paint can do. And it's just, uh, I want to make kind of an, an incredible experience. 
So those who don't buy from me, um, you can also donate to this great cause. And so, um, not only artists, a whole bunch of different ways they can use to express themselves, but to collectors who want to see the world a different way and just be amazed at all the things that paint can do. So that's my thing. Make everything 3D and come to life and see what new things can be made of thick paint. Thanks for coming in along and joining me.